All right, guys, did a little bit of experimenting and I got a uh, better version of the uh, Baby Bell survival, the whole survival Baby Bell thing. So, Baby Bell candle. And my buddy had a question. He said, what if, what if, uh, what if your whole uh, candle got wet? Would it still work? So, I did a bit of experimenting and uh, here we go. I'm going to put the cheese aside this time. Eat that after. Okay, so you got your two halves. Do like we did before in the last video. Put them together. You know what I'm gonna add this to? I'm gonna add the little strip. Oh, I'm gonna add the little strip in here. Just to add, you know, more wax. Okay. Now, what I got here, just normal paper towel here. I'm gonna pull a strip off here. I'll use that as our wick. Twist it all up like we did before. Okay. This time, this time, I'm gonna put it in there and I'm just gonna cut it, cut it so it doesn't, so it doesn't stick out of here. So it doesn't stick out of your, your wax here. So I'm gonna shove it in there like that, push it in. Turn it sideways here, squish it. I'm gonna make sure none of that, uh, none of that paper towel is exposed here. And we're gonna squish it, squish it, squish it. Until we have it perfectly. And I'll even roll it up, make it nice. Oh, there's a bit showing here, okay. So, there's your, your candle, but it's sealed now. So, grab the wrapper, open it up all nice and baby bell wrapper. I'm gonna roll it up, right? Like if you made one out in the bush, you would have rolled it up and put it away in your pocket. So, you know, put that in there and it doesn't gum up your pocket, right? Now, I've got a pan here with water and I'm just gonna bloop, plop it in there. Okay, let me show you, I'm just gonna floating. I'm going to make sure it sinks right under into the water here. I'm gonna roll it around, you know, really get it wet here. And just so, just to make it even better here, I'm just going to open it right up and dunk it too, just to show you that it's really, I mean, this thing is, this thing is wet. Like, okay, and I'm just going to, you know, if you were out in the bush, You'd probably pull this out after, let's say you fell in the water and you'd, you'd pull this out to make your fire. And you'd probably try to wipe it with your with your wet hands, right? Probably, you know, you'd, your hands would probably be wet, but you'd try to kind of squeegee it off a little bit, right? If you were in the bush, you would just squeegee, squeegee, kind of. Still, you know, it's still, it's still wet. It's still wet to the touch, I mean. So, I'm put it here. And what you would do is grab your candle and uh, you'd want to expose, you know, you'd want to expose your napkin now. So you do a little cut like that and then you just kind of pull that piece off. And I'd shove it back underneath too, just to add more wax to your, your situation. Okay, and make sure this is well exposed here. Okay, so. We've got some, oh, and I just wet it a bit. Oh, well. We've got some uh, some napkin exposed, and I'll squish it down here. It stands up. All right, let's see if this thing sparks now. Okay, so maybe, maybe I'll kind of scrunch it or something. Scrunch it and put the fire steel right in it. Kind of like that. Let's see if she lights up here. First, first whack didn't do it. Let's try again. Let's try again. There's still, you know, there's still some left here. Oh okay, yeah, let's try. Let's try it again. It did spark though, so that's good. Let's try this again. Get a light. Oh, let's 
Keep trying. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, that burns. So, there we go. Will it spark up wet? It will also spark up wet. And also, look at this. I still got some to spare. And it's already, you know what? It's already charred. It's already all charred up. It'll probably spark even better the second time. So, there you go. Survival food. Dangus out.